Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the view pager for Android. The view pager is a view that we can add to our layout so we can swipe vertically or horizontally across the screen to flip through multiple pages. Before we begin, add the dependency for the view pager. Go to the app level build Gradle file and add the implementation. For the latest version, visit the Android developer website. To begin, create a fragment to represent the pages for the view pager. Right click on the project folder, go to New, Fragment, and select Blank Fragment. Rename the fragment and click Finish. Go to the Fragments class file and remove all the unnecessary code. Keep the constructor and the onCreateView method. If we take a look at the layout for the fragment, there's a text view. Declare a reference to the text view and then define a string variable called title. Add a parameter to the constructor to accept a string, and then set the value of the title variable. Lastly, call the setText method from the text view object and pass in the title. The next step is to add the view pager to a layout. Go to the XML layout file that you want to add the view pager to. In the palette, search for view pager and add the pager to the layout. In the attributes pane, give it an ID. Since I'm using the constraint layout, I need to add the constraints. If you're using any other layout, make sure to set the necessary attributes. Go to the fragment or activity that is using the layout and declare a reference for it. Then create the adapter. Define a class and have it extend fragment state adapter. Click on the class definition, then click on the red light bulb and select implement methods. Repeat the same step and select the create constructor matching super. You will see a few choices that you can make. Depending on where you are going to instantiate the adapter, you should choose what's best for you. If you do not know, select all the options and click OK. In the create fragment method, return the fragment that we created earlier for the pages. In the get item count method, change null to 10. This will tell the view pager that it will have 10 pages. Lastly, add the adapter to the view pager by calling the set adapter method and passing the adapter object.
If we run the app, we will see that we can flip through our pages by swiping left or right. If you notice, all our pages are displaying the same text. To change this, we need to create some data and modify the adapter. Declare a string array and then populate it with some data. In the getItemCount method, replace 10 with the length of the array. In the createFragment method, instead of using a hard-coded value, pass in the data. We can also add tabs to switch between pages. Locate the layout file with the view pager. In the palette, search for tab layout and add the layout to the page. You can place the tab anywhere. Normally, it will be at the top or the bottom of the view pager. Since I'm using the constraint layout, I need to reconfigure my constraints. Lastly, go into the fragment or activity with the tab layout and declare a reference to it. Then link the view pager with the tab layout. Create a tab layout mediator object. The first argument is the tab layout that you want to use. The second argument is for the view pager that you want to link the tab layout with. And the last argument is for the tab configuration strategy. The tab configuration strategy is an interface that contains a method for us to style our tabs. The first argument represents the tab, and the second one represents the position of the current tab. To label the tab, grab the tab object and call the setText method. Then pass in a string. To set the icon, use the setIcon method and pass in a drawable. Lastly, call the attach method. If you notice, all our tab labels and icons are the same. To fix this, we need to use the value of the position. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give this video a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.